welcome back to Medieval Dynasty. Um, we are here in the first month of summer. It's raining. And we got, I actually, before I started, after I got done recording last episode, I went back and sold some more stuff. And um, go ahead and got, I got the second horse. I got the, um, the uh, filly there. And the uh, colt is here. He's been sleeping ever since he's been here. This this require no. This do take manure off of here too. Okay, well that's good. I did not was not aware of that. So that help, that's gonna that's gonna boost help boost my uh, manure um, thing. I'm gonna get these gal get these pigs out. Whoop whoop whoop. The other one's grown too. We got three fully grown pigs. So I'm thinking. Get them out of here. Pig, male. Where's the other one? Is that a is that a male too? Could be. That's two males. That she's like dead. I hope he's not. I hope he's okay. We'll go ahead and collect this while I'm here. Oh, I need to get this. I need to fix my um repair. <laughs> And I gotta fix the riff on this one too. Alright. How the hell in the back of this one? <laughs> How are these looking? <laughs> I need to get. Them. Well, they, ooh, that one needs a lot of work on that. Um, we need to get some goats, but like I said, I'm pretty much wiped out now since of the um, because of the horses. Horses were expensive. Very well. We got another kid running around here. Um, let's get some sticks. Okay, let's go fix those other things here. <coughs> Good lord, look at all these. Let's go inside and do this one, I think. <coughs> All right. Ah, uh, damn, I'm out. Some sticks here. There's a lot of them, really. Okay, let's go finish this up. <coughs> I need a log. Oh. Huh. 
Hopefully I only need one. I think we're good. Okay. Um, we'll run. We'll run through here real quick. I think we got a a, a mother that's given birth, or her toddler is grown. This one here, I think she's. I wonder where her mother's at. She's probably sitting behind by a campfire someplace. side. I think we're good. I don't know where that lady's at. Let's check the um, traps. Um, check these. Yeah, I think we're fine. Uh, I'm going to have to go in to this for this episode and confront Unighost with about the uh, fact that he was responsible for um, Jordan's um, death. So we're going to do that. Right, we're going to go ahead and do that right now. In fact, <clears throat> I want to get that over with and to see what what else I have to do or if this ends that storyline all right we're coming up on dystopia now um, <coughs> I should have probably saw this coming with the Unigos because this is basically his story and they're just talking about murder and stuff and and it was in regard I don't know what 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 what, what well, I guess we'll find out more about it when we confront him He's up straight ahead. He might be coming this way now. Hello there, dear Resimer. Hello. How's life treating you? Like a, like a father? What do you mean? Strict but fair, I guess. Very mature of you to say. You really are growing... Seeing more and more of those shades of gray are, huh? I do, but gray still consists of black and white. Things are still good and bad, right and wrong. It doesn't change that. Very mur- okay. I never said it does. Tell me more about my uncle. Hmm, I'm not sure if I have time for stories. I'm certain you'll find some. All right, maybe one story. <laughs> I just remembered a good one. Me, Jordan, and War Wolrad were trying to catch the Ross this rooster who swallowed a bunch of pearls and tell me about his death. Oh, Rasimer, I've told you already that he passed away in his sleep. But people don't usually just die during sleep, do they? Time is merciless. Jordan was an old man already. Did he die of old age then? No. A disease. 
some ravaging, rav ravaging sickness? No. Then how come he didn't wake up the next morning? Rasmer, I never, I have never lied to you. So why start now, huh? I knew this day would come, finding words to describe it, to explain. It seems abstract, undoable, but the silence has been burning a hole in my chest for a, too long. I did it, Rasmer. I killed my best friend, my brother. Don't call him that. I understand your pain, your feeling of betrayal, but I'm begging you, believe me, that it brought me no pleasure whatsoever. Why? It's complicated. All right, I feel like I've got some choices here. <coughs> you agree you wanted it to be a Kathleen instead of him? Was it jealousy, living all those years in Jordan's shadow? The sense of inferiority must have been constant for you. Was it vengeance for how he toyed with Kestrel for robbing you of your one true love? I'm going to go with that. If you're looking for a reason I hated him, you found one. But, it, but I didn't kill him out of hatred. What he did to Kestrel was awful. But he didn't try to be cruel. Besides, every part of, his, of this love triangle was hurting someone. We are all to blame. What about the baby? Who could have been a who you could have been a father? It doesn't matter who was the father. This beautiful baby boy didn't draw even one breath of air. His life was over before it began. That's the real tragedy. It was yours? Crestrel told me. Uh, are you serious? Yes, it was your child that burned on that day. All these years, I never stopped wondering, my son. May you rest in peace. I don't know what good of a father I'd have been, but I would love you to the end of days. Well, was it jealousy? So why did you do it? Out of fear of Jordan's doings, of what he could become after he killed that man in Navis I've stayed with him when everyone else left but I couldn't stop thinking about what he did how little it bothered him he was angry at them for breaking up the pack but he didn't see his fault in it and what was the worst he didn't even seem troubled by taking a man's life that's when I started wondering has he done that before Jordan didn't want to stop the mission. I convinced him that it was time for it and that he would should move to the valley and that we should move to the valley. I thought we could put all of what happened behind us, just rest and try to find happiness in the little things. But Jordan had a restless mind. For him not moving up, not breaking another barrier was torture. When he when we arrived here, there was only a couple of villages. We built ourselves a house in Gustovia I truly believed that this would be enough, but not for Jordan. <clears throat> a week had passed, a week had not passed, when he declared that he wanted to travel and meet the king, and then he's planning on doing it alone. Two weeks later, he came back as the new Castian of the valley. He moved into his own house, for appearances, as he called it. Since that moment, he was getting more and more distant from me, from anyone, really. I've been seeing him walking around Gustavia like a true leader, shaking hands, hugging babies, making small talk, always with a big smile on his face. He really seemed great. If you don't, if you didn't know what was hiding behind that smile. We were living right next to each other, and yet after some time, we were talking only a couple of times a year. He was afraid of me, afraid of his moral compass. He didn't want me to restrict him anymore. Conscious was a burden, so he did. So he got rid of it entirely. And that's when his worst side took control of him. I didn't see any shred of sincerity left, just a constant mask. Years went by. He was doing. He was going more and more often to meet with the king. So one. So one day, I started a little investigation, and what I found out sickened me. Jordan had become the very thing he swore to eradicate. 
a festered lord war whoring around with his filthy friends, getting rich off people's misery. He was benefiting from war selling weapons, shaking hands with rapists just to be on, in their good graces. He had to be stopped. <coughs> it took me months, years to get to it. I feel, and I feel responsible for every wrong that he had done during this time. I should not have hesitated, but killing my own brother, it felt unimaginable. Yet I knew I was the only one who could do it. I sneaked into his house early, or house during heavy rain. He was sleeping so peacefully as if all the sinister thoughts he left him for the night. I was star staring at his face for what felt like ages before I took out my blade, made one clean cut, and it was over. He didn't even open his eyes, and just like that, he was, it was done. You know what's going to happen now, right? You'll pay for what you've done. I do, and I'm not going to fight it. Whatever you decide, I'll accept. That's just exile. You don't deserve forgiveness. Killing your family just because you think it's right. But I will not let you die a self-proclaimed martyr. You will live with the guilt of what you've done until the time gets you, gets you itself. You are banished from the valley. You are right. Everything is so in gray. I don't condemn you for your decision. However, you took a man's life, and by the law of the king, it is punishable by death. You are a murderer. None of your lies will change that. The only thing you deserve is death, and you will be hanged for what you've done, and I hope you will be never no rest. Wow. <coughs> I, got one of four I got one of four choices. I could, and it looks like the, the most lenient is the first one to go down gradually to the to the hanging and then death. Um, I'm I'm concerned about his wife too. Um, what will happen to his wife if he, he she's going to be a widow and probably be disgraced? Um, I don't I don't agree with this completely. Uh, you don't deserve forgiveness. Killing your family just because you think it's right. But I will not let you die a self-proclaimed martyr. You will live with the guilt of what you've done until the time gets you itself. You are banished from the valley. You have to leave the valley one and never come. Well, both of these are the, basically the same thing. Except for even he's more, I'm more understanding with this one. I think I'm going to go with number two. You deserve. You don't deserve forgiveness killing your family just because you think it's right but I will not let you die a self-proclaimed martyr you will live with the guilt of what you've done until the time gets you gets you itself you are banished from the valley well I don't know now I kind of Well, we're gonna go with this one here, cause, cause I, I'm, like I said, I'm concerned about his wife. I don't, I'm, she's probably gonna stay here. I don't know how they're gonna write this into the, how this is gonna work out in the story. Uh, but we're gonna go with that. I never had a chance to meet my uncle. To judge his character on my own. But I got to know you, Unigost. And though I do not condone your actions. I understand the reasons. To be a man is not to never err, but to make hard decisions when they are necessary. You made yours. And it's something you will need to live with for the rest of your life. As will I. Okay, um... Well, what does what does what happens to his wife now? Is that her at her? No. 
So what? So what is? I don't know. And who's the, who's the Kessler now? Well, there's a Kessling up there. Is that Unicos? Hmm. Oh, he's the. Yeah, we got a new uh, Kessling. Okay. Let's talk to him. Oh, traveler. Um, I don't think there's anything to, what, okay, what about, this is wife still? No, it's a new, okay, they replaced it's her nice too. To meet you. Okay, they replaced the wife as well. Um, okay, Latruda? Hmm. Okay. Uh, now that I know, that's kind of interesting. I'm, I'm glad they did something with her. That they did, you know, they didn't. They shouldn't have left her. Or I, I think she would. Um, I wonder what they would have done if they hung them, or if I'd have chosen that path. Uh, anyhow, let's let's head back. And. Um, Okay, now that I'm back at them, um, I'm going to see if, how, I think we've got stone axes now. I think we're, I think we're okay on everything. Um, let's, let's just look and see what. Free time, but I think we're okay on everything. I, could there be. Yeah, we've got. They're not doing any work because it must be getting late, maybe? Or are they, are they raining? You know what? I, I got some more torches I can make, actually. Let's go and see how many um, linen threads there are and get however many linen fabrics I need and however many light. I think the last time I looked, there was four ready to go. I need to kind of look and see how they're coming on the on these fields as well. <clears throat> uh, linen. Oh, damn. They already taken them out. Damn, damn, damn. I need the flax, I need flax stock. Uh, how many stocks do it require? Next time I, I see them in there, I'm, I'm gonna take them out. That way I don't have to. <clears throat> but I really, really wanna build those lights, those, lamp, those torches. I do need another, I do need to build another, another campfire area. Um, how's the compost looking? Oh, we got rot. 584 per, um, okay. That's going to be good. Uh, I'll be put this way. Oh, it's right next door. Oh, this is great. Yeah, I, I don't have to run that far. Or walk or crawl. <laughs> uh, well, I got plenty. Let's go ahead and open it up, put the rot in there. Okay, um, make sure they're working on it. Um. D 
That's the manure. Yeah, I need it. I need to boost this up too. Um, we'll go 25 and. Uh, hell, I really want... Let's go down to 15. I just don't have enough. Alright, that'll, that'll get, them, get them started. I, I, I could actually probably make this myself. I might just do that, because it'll, it'll boost my skills up anyway. I'll, I'll make this stuff. Um... This is going to be a lot. But then next time we plant cabbage, which is next season, I believe. We could fill these back up. Yeah, because I'm planting cabbage in the... Well, this is the summer. So, the cabbage should be planted. I got four things, of, four fields of cabbage. That should be planted. I hope I got enough. Enough. Um, uh, which one? Is this the rot? Yeah. Let's go ahead and. How much? 118. That's good. We'll make that. <coughs> All right. We've got this completed. Let's just go ahead and put this in. Why am I walking so? Am I over? I am over. Yeah, I'm in, I'm cumbered. Let's put this all in here. Fertilizer. You got cabbage seed. That should be it. I think that's enough cabbage. Let me let me make sure. Um, yeah, I got. I only needed two. I know I need two thirteen. So we got plenty. Uh, and we got carrots. Oh, I don't know if we got enough carrots. Well, carrot seed ain't been harvested yet, I don't think. Um, so I think that's... I think we're good there. Um, I'm going to call it a, I'll call it a day here in the game, because this is just way too... I got a quest, I think. Maybe not. Please not be raining. Please don't be raining. It ain't. Looks cloudy though. Oh no. God, this place. This this is a beautiful game. Look at this. Let's look and see what we're doing. Um, we need cabbage. Oh, I haven't got this planted yet, have I? I need to get the. This is summer, right? Yeah, this is summer. Let's go ahead and. Um. um Okay, field number one is cabbage. Okay. And, yes. And, whoa, whoa what did I do that for? Why well, didn't screw up? Did I do that right? Yeah, we got right. Okay. Um,. The wheat and oats is carrying over from. So I need to go down to field six is cabbage two. Cabbage. Okay. Okay. And the other two are. Have they picked the. They have not picked the cat carrots yet so they need to pick the carrots let's, let's look and see what they're at on those it's like field seven and eight and that's these over here okay 
these are all picked okay let's go ahead and um uh, inventory <clears throat> Cabbage. And cabbage. All right, that should be ready. And we still got what, what's going on with these two? Have I not got the um. Have these been picked? Should be oats. Build two. Did I not do the oats? This should be cabbage here. This is field. Oh, this else is field number two. It should be wheat. Have I not got wheat seed? Well, it's too late now. They should have had this planted already. Wheat and oats, and this the other. What's these other fields over here? Uh, field three is wheat, oats. Nope, nope. And five is oats, and this should be flax. This should been this is this is picked. Have I got flax in? This is summer. I'm sure. Yeah, this is summer, because spring is um, green. They haven't started anything yet. <coughs> hmm. What are you doing? Um. I need another, another. I wish I could sell my knees and buy some new ones. My well, it looks like it's going to be cabbage. Um, we're going to change. We're going to add cabbage to some more too. Um, I might as well go ahead and make it all cabbage because I don't think the only thing that will, well, I could only plant now anyway. Um, what can I plant in summer? Basically, cabbage looks like. No, I don't know. Let's go ahead and okay. Let's go ahead and plant as much cabbage as I can. I don't know if, uh, if I have enough seed for this, but. Okay. Okay, we'll go with this. I don't think I have I don't have enough cabbage seed, but we'll we'll plant everything that I have. And I gotta look and see where have I got um, somebody that's unemployed. That's not a child. Namely my old hunter. This guy here, I think, is my hunter. Um, yeah, I've got her. 
Ähm Make sure where she's at, though. Wakalawa. Wakala. I think she's up here. Let's make sure she's got a house up, he's up here. I might... I don't, I don't think I want to... She might be living alone up here. If that's the case, I might relocate her. No. She, or I do have a mother up here, but it's just a different one. And who is this a woman up here in this one? No. Um. I got, I got another repair I got to do over here. No, that's the shadow. Okay. Um, is this another? No, this one. Let's the child belongs to this house here because usually they stand in front of their house. Yeah, we're. We got four hunters here. Make sure. Yeah. Um. Oh. Damn, man. She, I, I'm gonna find out where she's living, and then I, she's more likely going to be a be a farmer, because I, I got three farmers. I have three farmers and three barn workers. I'm colorblind. This is her here. Yeah, this is close enough to the farms. So you got you a new job, lady. You gotta help these guys with the farms. And she's all the way down at the bottom. Okay. Where is she at, I wonder? Is that her? Oh, she said, she's probably sitting down on the stump. That's her there, isn't it? Yeah. Get to work, lady. She's going to watch her change clothes when she gets up to here. No, she didn't change clothes. I don't think. All right, I wonder how many how many cabbages we have. We got plenty of bags of seeds, so. so there's one farmer. Two, three. There must be one over here. No, this is. Yeah, one, two. There, okay, there's three and four. Okay. All right, well, I think that's going to wrap this episode up. Uh, we're going to go ahead and end it. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, please hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe as well. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.